Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation, and we are actually finally back with the uh, the PvP, daily PvP videos. I know I was kind of missing from them the last week, but that was only because of the fact that we only had one Keyblade, and in my opinion, uh, that's just boring as hell to like do daily PvP to cover that when there's only one Keyblade, because there's no strategy involved. It's literally just, it's, it's just a... Uh, what's it? What's it call it? It's 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 literally just like who has who has a bigger stick, basically. That's that that was literally all what last week week is. Or whenever you have one keyblade, it's just who's who has the strongest setup. That's it. Boom, they, they win. Like it, it's it's no challenge. It's uh, it's not exciting or interesting at all whatsoever. There's no strategy. It's it, to me, it was pointless to cover, basically. So, but at the very least, we're back with another week. I wasn't able to do yesterday because I was, uh, if you watched my last video, I was actually gone. I was visiting family, so I am back now. So I'm actually recording my my PvP stuff again. <laughs> so at the very least, let's get started. Um, yesterday, I actually ended up at rank 609, and uh, I am starting off, and like quite literally, almost the entirety of today as well. I'm recording this at. Uh, 12 31 a.m. right now reset doesn't happen until 3 a.m. for me on the eastern coast but uh, i almost went the entire day at the same exact ra rank at 609 it was kind of sketching me out to be honest um and it's, it's only been within these last few hours i actually like dropped down to 905 which is like nothing that's like barely a drop compared to what we're used to so I, i'm looking forward uh especially if you see my last video in which i was uh in case you weren't already like it seems like they've made a change to how the rankings uh, how the searching of rankings uh, for finding people to fight has changed a bit which should be theoretically for the better um but anyways uh, aside from that let me quickly go ahead my setup because i know you guys uh, haven't been able to actually see them lately so essentially the kind of like a uh, format or strategy that i'm using right now and i'm actually gonna make I, i've been meaning to make a video covering this topic ever since pvp first started um but i've just kind of had it on the back burner for a while, so I'm actually thinking about making the video within these next few days or so. Uh, but essentially, I call this the swerve method. Um, don't ask me the origin, I'll explain that later in a later video or something. But I call this the swerve method. Um, partially just to make it so like it's easier to actually talk about instead of saying like, oh, uh, I do this and that to do this and that and blah, blah, blah. It, it, that takes too long to say. I just, I'm just calling it the swerve method, um, which is essentially where because of the fact that PvP, as soon as PvP came out, and you know, you can have multiple turns for Keyblades, uh, I immediately knew that with the release of PvP, that also meant that they're going to start releasing more and more metals within the game whose abilities last for multiple turns, which means that sooner or later it's going to get to the point where you can have uh, Keyblades with like almost no buffers or debuffers at all whatsoever, it can go pure damage simply because of the fact that the Keyblade before it already set up those buffers and debuffers that you're going to need. Um, and that's basically partially what I'm doing right here. I'm partially using that Swerve method. And you'll, you'll see what I mean in a, in a second. So um, the, the main uh, factor that I'm using to use that is my Nominate EX+. Plus. I actually got lucky on my, uh, my two pulls I did for the, uh, what's it called? For the uh, Nominate EX, uh, uh, the Magic Prime Tier 5 metal deal, I, like I, it pressed menu when I didn't mean to press menu. My mouse is being weird. Let's just go to the shop so I can show you. Um, this, no, not that one. This deal right here. Uh, I did two pulls of this. I originally uh, only meant to do one, but because of the fact that I was going to, I only had five Fantasia Mickey B, so I needed one more to guilt. Uh, my prime metal, I was like, you know what, why not? I have enough jewels, I can easily get them back, I'll do one more, and that's it. Uh, so, I was just doing it just to guilt my prime metal, and I, I got lucky enough to get EX Plus nominated, so. That was a nice surprise, I wasn't expecting it at all whatsoever, that wasn't even my intention. Uh, but I got her, so I was like, you know what, why not, let's finally use it, uh, for my swerve method for PvP. So, in terms of setups, like I was going back, I know I kind of like... <laughs> I got sidetracked. I am using Nominate right here as the primary buffer for the very least for my second Keyblade. Now, theoretically, I could use it for all three Keyblades, but that at that point that you're running a little bit of risk. Um, so I'm not doing that. I'm only doing that for one Keyblade at most. Uh, but her ability does last three turns, gives me all up 
all buffs, all strength buffs of all types um, for three turns. Um, so I'm taking advantage of that. So this is my turtle setup for round one. It's 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 turtling, but it's also like it's half turtling, half damage. It's mostly swerve though. Uh, so actually no, it's literally just a little bit of everything. So I'm using nominate ex plus for swerve, and I'm using. And originally I had originally I had the uh, Incredibles 2 VIP medal in this setup too just to get rid of people's uh, buffs and debuffs that they're applying turn one because I had a feeling that now that Nominate EX Plus is out people were going to start to use her a little bit more often uh, within PvP to do exactly what I'm doing uh, so I wanted to use the, uh, the self debuff and self the spell and the spell in general uh, just to clean the slate and make it more even but after thinking about it I realized that even if they're running and nominate EX plus uh, just stop okay uh, just running prime misses incredible alone will provide the same effect that I'm looking for anyways uh, because she has overwrite and she fully debuffs strength with overwrite so it's like at that point, I realized I don't actually need. <laughs> I actually don't need like man need to use Man in Black or uh, Incredibles 2 VIP medal. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I actually don't need that. Um, and at the same time, too, normally you would actually want to double cast Violet. Uh, my Violet doesn't have any traits, so normally you would want to double cast her. But because of the fact that she and Nominate EX Plus already gives me plus five uh, general strength buffs and. I think I have plus six PSM defense buffs too. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm only gonna use her once because on my other two Keyblades, or on my three wishes, for example, I'm running Zexion Plus, who provides the other two general defense, provides the rest of the defense buffs I'm gonna be using anyways. Um, we're just gonna, which is gonna be mostly relevant for when I'm on defense, uh, like when other people are attacking me. Uh, which is like what your what turtling is best at, anyways. When other people attacking you, um, so like it, it, I, I was like, um, so I basically just realized that I don't need to copy Violet for my defense, anyways. So I was like, you know what, this is perfect. I have buffs, which can let even my turtle medals do a little bit of damage. On top of, I don't actually have to worry about you know doing full debuffs either. Like so, I was like, you know what, I can do the other half of my keyblade be pure damage. <laughs> So, I have Illustrated Invisible here is not 7 star, it's just a 6 star. It's mostly there just for the minus 7 uh, general defense down debuff, um, which also sets up for my Prime Key Art 17, who also provides that too. But I was like, it just helps it do damage faster and more of it. Um, and it's so like, this just ended up being a fantastic like situation. Nominate EX Plus provides all the buffs. Prime Key Art 17 provides all the magic and upright debuffs for itself twice right here so it's like literally this ends up being a really damaging setup and turtles and swerves it's ridiculous <laughs> it ends up being like a, a huge factor towards what, like my strategy this time and i was like this is great um but anyways so in terms of swerves so nominee x plus is there yeah okay for all buffs for three turns. I'm using it mainly just for the second turn though. For second turn, I have Zexian Plus for, uh, slot one. And then I have almost no, I have no buffers at all whatsoever uh, for this setup. This is almost entirely damage. The only thing I have right here is my seven star Riku and Roxas Prime Metal, which I evolved uh, manually. I didn't Mercy or anything. Um, I had enough tier five fairies. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll do it. Especially since the medal was guaranteed on every single pull. I'm like, hell yeah. So, I'm using this as my primary debuffer, uh, which also does a lot of damage too in PvP. So, doing that, and I have Illustrated Dusk, who is uh, maxed out. Uh, traits are kind of eh. But at the very least, that's the debuffer. I, I decided, originally I was debating whether or not to do Illustrated Dusk or a magic reverse damage metal instead but i decided i decided to copy the prime metal just in case like attacking wise if they uh if they make if they paralyze me and make me skip my first two metals so at the very least i have my illustrated dust to copy the prime metal and still get pretty much most of my stuff that i need uh which helps out quite a bit um, the only thing I would be missing would be minus two general defense down, which honestly isn't that much. Assuming they have no defense buffs on them. But, yeah, and then the rest is just damage. 
So, like, overall it's mostly damage, but I have the Prime Metals right here, just, you know, just in case. And then last but not least, I have my Finger. My, my mouse is being freaking weird. Uh, I have my Miguel and Dante at the very beginning to debuff all their attribute debuffs. Um, and has defense boost 4 max. I have a stained glass metal, uh, my buzz, copying buzz. Uh, again, just in case they happen, uh, for both reasons, it does damage, a good amount of damage. On top of if they do happen to make me skip the first two metals, because of paralyze. Oh, because of paralyze or something. I'm still technically getting the three the buffs from Nominate EX Plus, so Nominate EX Plus it ends up being a like a huge counter uh, to prowl to like uh, status element strategies right now, um, and then I have pure damage on top of you know normal damage from the from the other metal, so it ends up being a really good setup as of right now, and this is what I'm going in with, so. Yeah, we're going to keep the setup exactly like this, uh, so you guys can go ahead and get a sense of how this plays out. I know that was a bit of a longer explanation than what I usually do, but I wanted to go ahead and explain and just, you know, explain it for everybody who hasn't watched before, or, you know, just because I know I haven't just talked about my thoughts in a while, so all the good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and fight Blaze over here. Uh, I still don't know what, like... The limit is that I'm gonna struggle with and such because on the first day people only had like a 1400 like power level <laughs> when I was fighting him at these like tier areas so don't actually know yet how like what my limits gonna be for this week I, I find this week very interesting I've also been encountering a lot of people who are using defense boost 3 max instead of 4 max which I, I don't know I just find that interesting like, and how do they get this ranking up with, with those? I don't know. I, I, I think it might partially be, just might partially be that, uh, that, uh, what's it called? They, they simply just haven't been found yet by the stronger players. Maybe the stronger players are simply, uh, still lower tier. <laughs> and the lower tiers haven't put in their tries yet. Uh, it could very, it could very easily be that a lot of people just haven't realized this update and thus aren't actually trying because they still think they can just do just the last day or two to rank up and secure their spots so if that if that actually ends up being the situation they're gonna be in for a rude awakening those last two days <laughs> because they're gonna realize they're not gonna even if they win all their tries they're not actually gonna get, probably gonna get to the rank that they want to get to which is gonna suck Uh, but anyways, like you can see right here, I still have all my strength buffs, uh, which is great because like even if they have a Kyrie EX, oh actually no, uh, so yeah, I, I have my general strength buffs at the very least. Uh, my prime metals provide the strength buffs that I need anyways for my respective attributes, so that doesn't even matter that the Kyrie EX plus or Shion plus debuff your PSM because your, your prime metals can get that right back anyways. What is most important is going to be the upright and general strength buffs. Those, like, Ky there's nothing in the game right now that, or should I say, Kyrie EX Plus doesn't overwrite those, um, which is kind of what I'm exploiting a little bit. Um, the only, uh, in terms of this strategy for this week at the very least, um, the only, there's only like only a handful of metals that actually like heavily heavily risk or ri like damage my strategy which is any dispel metal all whatsoever will kind of destroy my second setup because i rely on the strength buffs from my nominee x plus to make that work on top of if they run a misses incredible of like of their own that will also destroy me because not only are they completely getting rid of all of the buffs that not my nominate ex plus gave me but they're also completely debuffing me and i have almost nothing to get those back for my second setup so i'm gonna do absolute crap uh, on my second setup if they run any dispel or misses incredibles um but from what i can tell just from higher rankings so far most people aren't most people typically don't run dispel medals at all even like for the last few months that I've been playing this game, most people don't tend to use Dispel Metals, which is unfortunate because they're actually, you know, low-key strong um, against certain types of like setups. But anyways, next up we're going to go ahead and fight Herumane at 364th place with an average of 
four. Good luck, have fun, hurry me. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I just normally don't see people using dispel metals and uh, misses incredible too much in PvP, even in the higher rankings. Which to me, I mean, like I'm gonna exploit the crap out of that. And like I've always known that dispel metals and turtling always has a spot in PvP, especially now. Once Swerve starts becoming more popular, uh, those type of strategies, this, like or those type of metals, I should say, turtle, turtle, and dispel metals in general will definitely have a huge more impact once people start picking up Swerve. Um, and I definitely see Swerve becoming much more and more viable as more metals come along, especially with the Organization 13 metals, because I started noticing, with just the last few metals alone with like Psyx and Axa Plus, they're last for multiple turns, which is literally what you want for PvP. So, like, even, like, just the fact that my first setup right here, even though it's not meant to win, the fact that it can even still do a decent amount of damage is huge because against the turtle uh, matchups, I will most likely win those turtle matchups because they're not going to do shit for their damage and I'm going to just murder them. I'm very curious to see how this one's going to play out. <sighs> like, one, uh,. One of the benefits for me choosing to not have a main buffer on my second set as well is that it does give me an extra slot or two to put in a damage metal, an actual damage metal, or more damaging metal, I should say, which just lets me be able to do more damage and get more points. So that's that's like the benefit of Swerve. You can go a little bit more all in, which is kind of the point. Um, I have no idea if I'm, I don't think I will because they are running defense through four, four and five. That's too late. Yeah. So, like, I came close, but, like, they just ended up beating me there. Alright, next up, we're going to go ahead and fight Azazel with an average of 20.1. This one might possibly be a struggle. We'll see. Uh, but essentially, like I was trying to say last fight, uh, if I just simply had a different setup. Uh, organization so like if I had my Fenrir round one for example instead I could have won round one it was just it was just I just lost the rock paper scissors basically for that for that match um, which is fun I don't expect too many people to have like their worst set of round one uh, it's possible I just don't ex most people typically don't do that which is good for me because I exploit. I like I like if you watch my videos, you know I, I love exploiting the crap out of people in terms of like outwitting them and stuff. <laughs> like that is my goal. Like my goal is to always try and figure out how to just outwit you. Um, in case you aren't aware too, like if you uh, if you haven't realized yet, but uh, combining defense three max with a defense five essentially creates the same effect of having a defense four max. Um, so in case you don't have a defense 4 max, but you do have a defense 3 max and a defense 5, you can combine them to essentially create the same effect with a defense 4 max. The, they, like, the average of both ends up being along the same lines of what a defense 4 max would do. The 7 star invisibles are what are, what are going to be scary. I don't know... Oh no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this. Yeah, no, that's just that's just disgusting. Um, I might actually have to start putting my finger turn one, and then my turtle set up round two. I might have to swap things around because I think it's possible people are uh, putting their weakest setups or weaker setups, I should say, round one for whatever reason. Um, Maybe just maybe just because of the fact of like what I said before, most people tend to put their strongest setups first. Uh, maybe enough people have realized that and are starting to work around that. So I might I might just work around what they're doing. <laughs> All right, so this time we're gonna go ahead and play around with this. We're gonna try having Fenrir first, uh, missing a second, and three wishes last. We're gonna see how this goes. Is not 
guaranteed to work, but who knows? So let's give it a shot. All right, so this time we're to go ahead and fight. Who do I want to fight? Let's fight Lintorion at 368th place with an average of 21.7. This, I might lose this one. This person might possibly be thinking the same thing. Else. One trying to win round one, but not using their best setup. It can very easily be their best setup too. Power, like power does have a large amount of uh, support for it right now. Ooh, this is incredible. Okay. Maybe there isn't. Maybe this isn't their best setup. And like the plus the plus ninety percent isn't really adding too much. I think I lost this one. Yeah, I lost this one. Oof. Oof, that's unfortunate. I'm curious to see what his round two is gonna be. Is he turtling? Oh, no, I don't think so. This is 12 million. Yeah, 12 million. Oh god, how much extra tech does he have? Jesus Christ. Well, I'm pretty sure I, lo I, I, I lost that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I, I mean, first of all, I wasn't even gonna reach 25 million with this setup, um, but it, it was interesting nonetheless. Like you see right there, I reached 10 million with just like two prime medals. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just put my turtle setup swerve my mix setup, we'll just save that because it's literally a mix of everything. Round one again, and we'll, we'll just go back to the old setup because uh, I, I, I think I just might have had some unlucky matchups those couple times. Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and fight Tommy over here at 325th place with an average of 20.4. So good luck, have fun, Tommy. The glasses are a nice touch, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how this goes. to see how much damage he's gonna do. I, I, I'm pretty sure he could reach 30 million, pretty possible. Okay, he got close to it. And I wasn't gonna beat that regardless, so it's not bad. This is where it's gonna count though. Uh, even with the, the Kyrie, it doesn't matter. What? Oh, he was probably afraid of being skipped. That's why he had the shield there. It must suck when he runs against people who are using sleep, though. <laughs> and then, because it makes you skip the Shion, too. Oh, God. Oh, the, the score is so high. Okay, okay. It's possible. It's possible I could beat this. And I don't think they're using five. Their defense we use five. Okay, so I, can, I it's very possible I could beat this. Let's see how this goes. I got the 10 million now. This is, this is... 
I'll use my Nova here too. Show us some place. I don't know. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'll make it. Unless try in here just comes in clutch. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, a whole hundred thousand off. That's ridiculous. All right, this time we're gonna do a little bit different. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and fight. I'm gonna try, maybe not the lowest rank, but we're gonna fight. You know, still somewhat lower ranks, but like you know, averages I can possibly beat. Uh, we'll fight Raph over here, 91x at rank 469th place. So average of 19.4. So if I beat him, at the very least, I'll be top 500 for today. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I won that. This 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 has to be a strong setup. Although I'm conf like they uh, I'm confused about those three first three medals like wasted so much damage. This whole setup is just awkward is super awkward. Yeah, no, that that setup was just why. <laughs> I'm just left wondering why. Um, and they have defense four max too, so I'm gonna easily do damage. Just just beat them here. Like I already beat them. Didn't even get the try. Alright, <laughs> that was an interesting battle. <laughs> nice try though, Raph. Alright, so next up, we... um, Let's go ahead, let's go fight and fight Epsilon over here at 224th place with an average of 19.5. I could do James as well, but it's like the, the average is almost exactly the same. So I'm just like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna fight Epsilon. And a said with extra attack. Mm. Interesting. It's gonna have minus two. Oh no, minus four general defense down debuffs for two turns. So that's actually gonna affect me next turn too. That's interesting. Oh no. Wait. Oh my god, a seven star Bob and Jack check already. I don't think uh... Okay, okay. What you got? Okay no, I I I'm pretty sure I can beat this person. I'm not doing nearly as much. What, how much strength do I have? 
Whoa, I have no general strength for some reason. Why do I have no general strength? I must have missed something. I must have missed a medal. Alright, so... I don't recall what they were using last time, but if they were using anything like a Zexion Plus or something, uh, or even Vexen Plus or whatnot, that debuffs strength. That could have been a reason why I had no strength, but I don't know. Oh well. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and fight AC over here. I believe I remember fighting you before. Uh, at rank 225th place with an average of 19.2. So. So like, on defense, if they were to attack me with a setup, I would actually destroy their Nomina EX Plus buffs because I have Mrs. Incredible. She would just be like, nope, complete debuff. Um, granted, they would still have the upright strength buffs left to carry over. Those would still carry over, but the uh, the PSM and general strength would just be gone. Um, especially the general strength, that's what would end up hurting the most. Especially being debuff. So yeah, you can tell right here that, that he is relying off the nominee EX Plus like I am doing. Oh, I guess not. They have a not. It's very interesting. I don't know why. They have a Kyrie EX right here. Plus. Like, they have no reason to run their nominee Plus then in their first setup. Especially on slot 2. Like, that, that made no sense. That makes no sense to me. I don't know what this guy's doing. Unless it has like a defense skill or something that I'm just not aware of. Maybe the nominee itself had the defense skill, like, that could be a reason why I had it, but otherwise, if it, it, if it doesn't, like, that, that makes no sense to me. Um, so they only made 26? Okay. Uh, I have plus 6 general strength. I don't know why I went down 1, but we're gonna go ahead and Nova right here. Pretty sure I should be able to do enough damage to beat him. Okay, good. <laughs> Got a little scared right there for a second. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Triple threat didn't go off either, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's not really... The, the, the ailments aren't really part of my attacking strategy. They're kind of part of my defensive strategy, but not my attacking. I think I lost. Oh no, I lost. Jeez. Alright, good game AC. Alright, so this is giving my second to last battle before I end the video. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and fight... Let's fight Moon over here. At 407th place with an average of 19.7. So, good luck, Moon. Sacred Promise. Ooh. I like the hair, though. I like the the pink thing that you're going on, too. It doesn't, it doesn't look that bad, not gonna lie. One thing I do wish they would uh, buff with PvP is a Nova. I feel like Nova should do way more damage in PvP. I feel like it does nothing. Like, like Poison gives you a million points. 
a high Nova should give you at least a million points too, in my opinion. Uh, depending, like if like I don't know, every thousand levels of Nova can give you a million points or something like that. Like to me, that like that would be great. I love the full turtle they've got going on here. This is actually pretty cool. Alright, alright. Alright. Okay. You debuff my strength a little bit too, that kinda hurts. Oh no, the Zexian. Oh, the Zexian's gonna hurt so much. I think I lost. The Ze just seeing the Zexian alone already made me feel like I lost. Okay, let's see how the oh nope I don't need like my medals got skipped too like and they have a ton of defense bro I I got screwed right here <laughs> Moon had a solid solid defensive strategy right here so good 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 work Moon good work All right, so since it's this is my last try, we're gonna go ahead and switch to my defensive setup. Um, there's a few ways I could do this, but in terms of what I'm gonna be trying to do, uh, this is what I this is what I want to do. So I could I could approach this in, in a variety of ways um, because of the way like I'm using Swerve. So my nominate ex plus. Or should I say, because I have my nominate EX plus in my missing egg setup, uh, and my three wishes depends off that, that means that wherever missing egg goes, I have to put three wishes below it. So three wishes can only go in um, either like round two or three, and missing egg can only go in round one or two. One, like it, like so they ha so they're right next to each other. <laughs> Um, so what I've been doing, at least what I did yesterday, and it seemed to be fine. Um, I did Fenrir first, so that, oh, so that way, uh, like just in case something happens, or no, I, I, I don't remember why I did Fenrir first, but, um, and then I do Missing Egg first, or right, second. So I want these two, like my first two rounds, just because of the fact they have the status elements, so I can still make them skip their first two medals uh, which is kind of what I want but the other reason why I did oh now I remember now the other the reason why I did missing a second though aside from the fact that I'm, I could potentially make them paralyze them and stuff and make them skip their first two medals um, and I do a bit of decent damage and I have defense buffs too uh, aside from that those factors another reason why I do that is because of the fact that most people attacking wise will have trying to use status ailments on round three to make me skip medals round three and trying to guarantee that win however if i have my this setup round two uh my defense my turtling still carries over uh, or at least my defense buffs anyway still carry over into my this setup uh in which case i will have max defense buffs um And I will still have the nominate buffs as well, so like, at the very least, I can still do a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, and chances are they're probably going to be using their best setups within the first two rounds anyways, that their last setup is going to either be their second best Keyblade or their worst Keyblade, one of the two. It's like very unlikely it's ever going to be their best Keyblade, in which case my three wishes is my best Keyblade, uh, in which case I'm have a pretty good chance on paper anyways of beating them so this is the strategy i'm using for now for defense i'm uh, just like any other week i'm still testing out defenses so we'll see how this goes um i kind of want to put like a uh, my man in black in here just in case um uh, just because he has triple threat on him but also at the same time in case other people are running the uh no, not even. I for, I keep forgetting that like my my Mrs. Incredible just overrides that. So 
that's me. It, it would literally just be there for a triple threat. But other than that, let's go ahead and uh, lock in my defense setup and see how this does. This the, the cool part about the setup too is that it, it also works offensively. <laughs> Assuming like my, my second setup doesn't get skipped with ailments and I can actually use my nominee EX plus. Uh, but if it doesn't, like I can still use the act, use this offensively, which is kind of cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and fight Akimoto though at rank 363rd place with an average of about 19.8. So good luck. Like, I already lost. I mean, it was interesting to watch, though. If I had my attack to set up, I probably would have beat this person, but... Nonetheless... Still... still to look I'll just use Nova, just why not. Like, they're using 3 max right there, too. Like, I could have easily, easily beat them with my tax set up, but good game. Alright, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am will be back uh, with my daily PvP videos every single day from now on, um, unless something else comes up again. But uh, other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to let me know what your thoughts are, if you happen to actually watch most of the video, too. Um about you know the different strategies and stuff in the comment section down below but other than that i feel like we did pretty good today uh we didn't really go too much in terms of ranking uh the, the main thing i just want to keep out for is like how far down are the drops that's that's the main thing i'm gonna be looking out for this week uh so we'll see how that goes but other than that oh excuse me my name is brian from kinemarts in your guys nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace